Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Johanna, and today I want to talk to you about a fragrance that I've been enjoying. It is Guess 1981 Los Angeles for women. This fragrance was launched in 2019, and the perfumers are Clement Galvory and Ferminish. I would describe this fragrance as a soft, fruity floral with a smooth creaminess that lasts throughout the time you're wearing the fragrance. The notes are, on the top, mandarin orange, pear, and red currant. In the middle notes, there are apricot nectar, jasmine, orange blossom, and peony. And in the base, ambroxan, musk, vanilla, cedarwood, and praline. Initially, when I spray this perfume, I get the mandarin orange and the pear, mainly. And even though it has red currant in there, there's nothing like sharp about it. About 15 minutes after spraying, I get the apricot nectar, which I think is significant and that lasts for quite a while. And it's it, it kind of forms the mood of the fragrance. There is also peony and orange blossom that blend with the apricot nectar. There's also jasmine in here, which I don't really sense too much. So I don't think it's very prominent. In the dry down, there is a musk, ambroxan, vanilla, slight praline, and cedar. This fragrance is medium in sweetness. It is quite smooth and creamy throughout. And I get the impression that there are aldehydes that are creating the smooth creaminess and the apricot nectar contributes to that too. The aldehydes in here are not sharp or crisp. They are very smooth. This is what I would consider an easy to wear, office friendly fragrance. It could be professional, but not boss babe. It is understated. And one thing that I get from this, and I don't know if this is just personal to me, maybe some of the notes are creating this for me personally, but this fragrance is, it's, it, it creates a pleasant sentimentality. It creates a mood, it creates a mood of pleasant sentimentality, kind of like if you were on a really relaxing vacation somewhere where it's warm and you get, your whole body gets a chance to relax, including your mind. And then you're there and you're thinking about the fact that you will need to go back home. It definitely is a sunny fragrance. So I think Los Angeles is a good name for it. I don't know very much about like why they called these fragrance, this line of fragrances 1981, um, because I have a few others that are also in the 1981 guest line. This fragrance is not long lasting. It lasts maybe two to three hours tops and the sillage is medium to close to the skin. The cost is quite affordable. It was under $30. I got this a few months ago and it was about $25. Um, I believe I got it on Fragrance Net. So the bottle is a nice design. This is the one that they use for a lot of the guest fragrances, but the cap is actually made out of wood. It's not just wood grain plastic. It's actually made out of wood, I believe. I believe this is wood. It feels like wood to me more than plastic. So if you're looking for something with mood to it, but you don't need it to be long lasting, you could just spray it over and over again anyway, if, it, if you need it to be long lasting. 
but you might want to consider Guess 1981 Los Angeles for Women. I also have the Guess 1981 Los Angeles for Men fragrance that I might do a review on at some future time.